Shall we bow and pray, please, before I begin? Father God, King of the universe, we are in your presence, Lord. Sinful as we are, we are wretched. We are filled with filthy garments. Mm -hmm. Lord, we are told that we are blind, naked, miserable, wretched, and that we don't even know, Lord, that we are all those things and more, Lord. But you said for us to come and buy from you raiment and gold that is tried in fire, Lord, and also the eyes of. Thank you so much, King of Kings, that you can clothe us with the righteousness of Christ Jesus. Thank you that you can give us wisdom and also the Holy Spirit. Thank you that we can go through trials and also go through them with you and with us. You are always with us. So, Lord, I pray that you give me the words to speak because I my mind is just blank. So I'm giving you this opportunity, Lord, to come and speak through me, to me, and also to your people. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So where do I begin? Well, I... I think I said this before, but I don't know why I actually came here. But one thing I did put on my on my um, answers to as to the reason why is um, to find my first love again, because I have I have lost my first love, which is Christ, and without Him I am nothing. Without Jesus, everything in me, around me, is just misery, pain. Like, there's, I have nothing to live for. Even when I look at my family, my children, my mom, it's just nothing. I feel empty. There's no joy without Jesus. So, that is why I, the thing that I did put on Jesus, my relationship with him. Um... So when Auntie Vicky asked me to come, I was like, I'm, no, thank you. I'm not doing it. Like, I don't see the reason why. But then, you know, again, she asked me and I said, you know what, Lord, maybe this is good for me because I asked the people who I thought they would go and they said no. So it was a good thing for me that I did come here um, to the Mecca Hills. And I really do praise God for Auntie Vicky for using using her to really say, go, go, you need to come with me. <laughs> um, so one thing that I've seen in my life that has changed is clogged mind. Really foggy. I have a foggy mind. Because one thing I say, oh Lord, I'm going to go to... I'm gonna go for a walk and I can't go for a walk. Like the whole entire day, I just, I'm unmotivated. I can't do anything. My mom is the one cooking. I just feel like everything around me is just like, I can't do it. I really cannot do it. So just being here for the last nine days, my mind has been really open and I can hear God's voice more. Um, I can also, I can, we can just, we can walk hand in hand and talk. And sometimes it just makes me laugh when we're walking and talking. So I've seen changes with my relationship with him where before I go into my devotion, devotion time and I feel like I'm not getting anything out of it, but now I'm getting something out of it. I hear his voice. I, I see him all around me and I feel his presence once again before, where before because um, when I was coming to Christ the one thing that I owe like because I did um, I think 21 days of juicy and I didn't know it was a big thing but I did 21 days juicy and three days of complete fast with nothing and I was just seeking God and he was with me, he was real, he was present with me at all times. I couldn't say anything um, that was wrong because I knew his presence was always with me. So, And I've been crying out to Jesus, Jesus, I want your presence back. I just miss myself, I miss Jesus. I really miss him. 
like I'm not yet satisfied mm -hmm. I want more of him even more than I ever had before when I was coming to him and I my prayer and my um, my desire is for for him to really be with me and use me in his service like for him calling me to be um, a preacher my mom always tells me a preacher needs to eat well you gotta eat well if you are not eating well the things that you're giving to the people that you're preaching to it's not good you gotta eat well you gotta um, be hydrated you gotta go for a walk you gotta sleep early she's always crying out and she's always praying for us um, so I thank God that I came here I thank God that he is I'm seeing his like um, his presence I'm, I'm censoring his presence again and I thank God that the food that we've been eating is amazing like most of the time when you think of food and um, plant best you just feel like oh no it's not good but it's amazing it's appealing and it's beautiful and it's also nourishes our body so my prayer also is for me to go home and help mom out we call her doctor because honestly mom is a doctor um, in our home and to many other people that she comes across to and I just pray pray for me that um, I will be a good influence to my you know my they're not they're little brothers and sisters but they're big they're 21 23 so it's really hard to help them when their mindset is already being set to change that kind of mind is really hard so just and also I, um, young people that are around me please pray for me that I'll be a good influence and that I'll be able to help um, whenever I can or whenever the Lord allows me to that I can be um, the sunshine that Jesus is calling me to be um, also pray for me that uh, my prayer life becomes what it used to be even better than it used to be because I'm not praying as I should when God when God has called me to be a prayer warrior um, that has died down for the last two years and it's really sad to see sometimes I just feel in pain I'm like Lord I want to pray but I can't pray I want to pray for that person but I can't pray for that person I need you to really come into my life and I believe also like this year because um, I was um, in New South Wales as well I was I was just seeing how tired I'm getting how weak I'm getting and I would just say God I want to eat healthy but I don't know how when mom is speaking I said I want to do it but I just can't do it and I tell my mom it's easy for you to say but you don't know the struggle it is for us so there's a demon of appetite a demon that is in us and he just bring whatever is appealing to our eyes and we put and indulge in it but the truth of the matter is is killing us mentally physically we can't hear God's voice better so I just pray that you all pray for me and really uplift me in God's presence and also pray for myself as well and pray for all of you by God's grace that we, that we will be conquerors through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. God is telling me I am with you always. Mm -hmm. So I just pray that he will continue to be with me and I thank you all for being such a great encouragement. Um, I was also like afraid why am I here like if I go who am I gonna meet there are they gonna be um, you know people who are gonna be encouraging lifting or are they just gonna be people who are just gonna be doing their own thing or whatever but when I came here just the vibe the presence of God the joy the laughter the peace the sharing mm -hmm. like open it's um it's very amazing and I just thank you and I thank God the Almighty my ride or die Christ Jesus Thank you, everyone. Okay. God bless you all.